Well, this is not a free ticket. Yes, with all the news going on in the media. Who would have thought, oh yeah, the president would double down? We're not quite certain what I'm talking about. I guess you have to watch the market. We're seeing what s and did by downgrading the, the, what's the, the triple credit rate that the United States. Well, doubling down, and uh, yeah, you can see what's going to be happening now. So for now, we're going to bring old Tim on with comments on the headline. Oh. The president double down. I mean, I love the people over. He wouldn't dare come on and condemn, you know, the Republicans and condemn standard and borders and say that a balanced approach is needed. And I offered it, and they wouldn't, uh, you know, said both parties are to blame, but I offered a balanced approach. I mean, I knew, uh, oh, we also need to, uh, to do it. We knew infrastructure spending. Everything he said was spend, 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 spend. No stop spending, and they, and they said the problem wasn't a revenue problem; it was a spending problem. And the Democrats didn't get the mandate. And the Tea Party needs to be shut down. And that's the basic thing: is that the Tea Party is responsible. Well, they they put it way out this morning that the uh, Obama offered no cuts whatsoever, even though this is just a phantom thing. His original plan was to give him three trillion dollars in new spending with no no trimming. But the fact is the Tea Party was responsible. Oh, I got you another a breaking news this morning. The twelve year old George Bush has been officially been named as a suspect in the killing of uh, John Kennedy. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't that John Kennedy? That was a long time oh, ago. Yeah, but see, he was in he was in Dallas at the time of the killing. And he had a grudge against Democrats, and everyone knows that George Bush is responsible for everything. So this morning, you know, uh, uh, they, you know, taking things that were said that, you know, at that time was obvious that George Bush was one of the conservatives. Oh, is that like saying that only Obama can save us from Bush's lowering of the credit rating? I know. He, he's accepting no responsibility for anything. He came into a bad situation. And then we had a problem with people refusing to hire. Then we had a problem with the, the tsunami and the earthquake. And then we had a problem with Europe. And uh, not, at no time does he, does he, he forgets the bit from Harry Truman. You know, uh, the buck stops here and if you can't stand the heat, you know, the kitchen. Uh, no, he, he forgets those entirely. Every Bush and Republicans are responsible. And the Academy defends Winfrey as honorary Oscar winner. Uh, they figure like she's done one movie. She got an, I think she has an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. But the problem is she is not involved in the movie industry. Pulled out of the movie industry a long time ago. She's done five hundred million dollars in charitable work. Yeah, but it's not in the film pit, folks. And that's where you're supposed to oh. be doing it to get the genius. See, part of it is I can see why she gets an Emmy, right? Because yeah. that's where her body of work is. But the Oscars? Yeah. But they don't seem to... They said it is the way both of on all of the people in the industry. I mean, even the people in the industry. I guess if you give it to somebody that's in a film business, And markets having to be shut down due to the collapse of the U.S. credit rating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, markets all over the world collapse. 13 or 14 percent, and they paid, uh, but don't worry, it was George Bush and the Republicans called, especially the Tea Party. Well, and part of it is, it's also affecting our market here this morning. Oh, yeah, but don't worry, Obama will save it, though, because he has the answer. Higher taxes on the wealthy and, and ordering businesses to invest in our country. Well, do you think you can save Bank of America, whose uh, who shares dropped 15 percent this morning? I know Bank of America. The, the people they said they blame it all on the Obama administration on his continued litigation. They said Bank of America is holding ungodly amounts of bad mortgages that Obama wants the Bank of America to forgive, which will basically finish the company off. Mm -hmm. They kind of forget about that, don't they? Oh, no, nothing has to do with Obama. Remember, everybody. Oh, knows that's right. And Strasscon may make appeal a civil suit looms. Uh, oh, yeah, because it's beginning to be ridiculous. Though. The guy, is, they're, they're not charged, they're doing nothing. He's in limbo now. The civil suit's going to go nowhere because who's going to find him guilty 
when the woman is in danger of being thrown out of the country for perjury on her on her well, entrance forms. You know, part of it is you don't even have a case because if your main person is thrown out. Well, she lied to Hillary Clinton people to get into the country. You lied to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, you know, you don't lie to the Clintons and get away with it, folks. You, they can lie to you, but you don't lie to them. Or as you can say, well, that was a different issue. Yeah. Yeah, right. And White going after S&P because of their attacks on America's greatest president. I know. They said, basically, they're also claiming it's a racist thing this morning now because they're, you don't see a lot of black people working at S&P quarters. And they're out to get America's first black president. Oh. Now, it always ends up back to the race thing. Uh, there's not, you know, how do you tell whether it's a, a supporter of the president or not? And if it's a supporter of the president, they, uh, they uh, don't want to cut spending if they do want to raise taxes. And everybody else is to blame but them. They, 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 we had to increase spending by $7 trillion to make up for that $450 billion that George Bush had to get. And Planet of Aid captures the market with $54 million. Okay. Think it made, they said it made uh, 15 million less than the movie that predated it. You know, the Tim Burton movie cost less money to make than this one. This one made less money, and yet, for, all, for some god unknown reason, there you know, well, this movie is the, is the start of a whole new industry. No. Uh -huh. No, because people didn't have it. Look, everything else tanked this week, though. The market, the, the box office receipts went down. It all went into one movie. And Judge, American can sue Donald Rumsfeld over torture. Well, they can't. The Supreme Court has already said you couldn't sue, uh, you, you couldn't sue the Attorney General. And since he was a state, since Rumsfeld was a, a member of the cabinet, you can't sue cabinet members. So therefore, it, it's a criminal lawsuit brought by the Obama administration against Rumsfeld. And we were never in any danger of defaulting, but Bush and the Republicans tried to play politics with the issue. I, I know. They're the ones that are saying that. You know, the, the, we, there were, the re Bush and Republicans were scaring the people. Wasn't the Democrats who were scaring people? Wasn't Geithner who violated his trust by uh, being voted for betting? He blamed the Republicans for it all. And Democrats look at credit downgrade as an excuse to raise taxes on all but their base. I know, isn't that a great one? That, you know, even though their base doesn't pay taxes at all, it doesn't make any difference because these are hard that are being taken advantage of because these millionaires and billionaires will not invest in our country. The problem is Obama has hit them with so many new regulations and taxes that they're basically going to pull their money out of the banks and set on their mattresses where Obama can't get it no matter what. I guess he's going to bust into people's homes and take mattresses next time. And Obama and Bernanke out of ammo to boost jobs and growth. Oh, uh, that's another thing. Nope, they're going to, they're going to, uh, they are going to raise taxes. They're going to do it. Obama's going to take the unilateral approach and simply raise it on by executive order on all companies doing business with the United States government. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He's also going to take the unilateral approach and create an infrastructure bank which will hire more union people and more government employees. And that will hiring more people on the government's dime is going to solve the problem. <laughs> He's been, he got to spend. They said he needs a trillion dollars more in expenditures in order to fix the problem of spending too much money. And only a strong union workforce can save our economy. Yeah, and you get the idea where all the news is headed today, folks. And, and believe me, um, I can guarantee you that that if the president of the United States would go on Fox News and had a joint press conference with Fox News and Fox Business. And he bent over to scratch his butt. You would have hundreds of people trampled in the effort to go scratch his behind because they are now firmly behind the president and anti-Republican because Rupert Murdoch is terrified of going to jail at 85. Oh, and we need more regulations, not less. This is what S&P meant. Uh, and that, they, they said it, they re rectified it this morning. They said the problem is you're spending too, the guy said you're spending too damn much money and you refuse to stop it. And a Monty bubble is up from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. If you blame everyone else but yourself for causing the problem that you've created, you surely must be a politician.